What is Baron 1898? Baron 1898, famously pronounced Baron 1898 in Dutch, is a B&M dive coaster located at the Efteling in the Netherlands. The ride is well known for its extensive theming and developed storyline. This can be seen throughout the attraction, from the lift hall structure to the station building itself. Baron 1898 opened to the public on the 1st of July 2015 as the world's ninth dive coaster. Interestingly, it was the first dive coaster constructed by B&M to not feature a turn between the top of the lift hill and the first drop. Instead, riders transitioned directly from the lift hill to the first drop. Another interesting note is that the ride system only utilises one chain. As a result, the chain found on the lift hill is also used to hold and then release riders from the top of the main drop. From just looking at the ride structure, it is evident that Baron is a well-themed experience. To complement the theming, an intricate storyline has been created. Gustav, who calls himself the Mine Baron, has recently constructed a mine on the site of a cave in which he found a golden nugget. After the construction had been completed, the Baron led the first ascent into the mine in which he discovered extensive amounts of gold. However, unfortunately for the Baron, the mine is haunted. Knowing of this, Gustav continued on to the final step of his plan, hiring workers, the riders of the attraction. Before guests embark on the train, they are subject to several pre-shows throughout the queue line. There are a total of three shows throughout the experience, one of which takes place on the ride itself. In the first pre-show, Baron greets the group of riders ready to become his new workers. He states how the riders will become rich and tells them to prepare for their journey into the mine. Upon doing this, the white women, the spirits who haunt the mine, warn guests not to enter the mine shaft. Gustav quickly tells riders not to be discouraged by the white women and continue their preparation. During the second pre-show, the Baron instructs guests how to board the attraction and prepare for their descent. After the second pre-show, riders enter the trains and move into the third and final pre-show room. While in the room, the white women appear once again and tell riders they are travelling to their doom. They quote, Pride goes before a fall, and then disappear allowing riders to begin their climb up the lift hill. During the ascent, two large wheel pulleys begin to spin. This is to emulate the large wheel pulleys found on the lift structure above real mine shafts. They can be found inside the final pre-show room, as well as on the top of the tower structure. Riders crest the 30 meter tall lift hill and travel towards the drop. As they begin to peek over the edge, the trains come to a stop. Riders stare into the drop beneath them for several seconds and then plummet into the small tunnel below. As they do so, they hear a bell ring and plunge a total of 37.5 metres into the smoke-filled mine. Riders quickly emerge from the other side, straight into an Immelmann loop. The trains then enter the second and final inversion, a zero-g roll, which extends across the area's footpaths. The ride experience ends with a 360-degree helix, a small bunny hop, and then a right-hand turn into the final brake run. Like many dive coasters, Baron 1898 features a short track layout measuring only 501 metres long. This equates to approximately 31 seconds of ride time between the holding brake and the final brake run. The ride itself can be further categorised as a mini dive coaster due to its trains and angle of descent. Mini dive coasters feature trains that are made up of three cars, with each car seating six riders. As a result, a maximum of 18 riders can board a single train. As riders plummet down the drop, they do so at the maximum angle of 87 degrees and reach the top speed of 90 km per hour. A total of three trains can navigate the circuit at any one time, leading to a throughput of 1,000 riders per hour. The extensive theming of Baron 1898 led to the construction costs of the ride to be roughly 18 million euros. It's certain that the attraction is one of the best roller coaster experiences in the world and arguably the best themed dive coaster in existence. The Efteling has turned a short ride experience into an immersive storyline in which the guests embark. Should more parks theme their rides to such a high standard? What's your opinion?